Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss about a question which is print all pairs with given sum. This question is taken from the Geeks for Geeks website and the link of this question will be provided in the description box below. We are solving this particular question in two approaches. So let's get started. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to discuss about this particular question, which is print all pairs with given sum. So first thing is we'll understand the problem statement. For example, we are given an array. Let us say 3, 5, 4, 7, 1 and 3. So now after this, after we are given with this array, the next thing is we will be given with a sum. Here the value of sum, let us say 8. Now the output should be we have to print the pair of elements which give out this sum. Now in this case it is the first pair is 5 and 3 and the second pair is 7 and 1. These are the pairs over here which print this particular sum. When added up they give out the sum 8. So we are supposed to print these pairs. So these both are the input and this is the output. Now here on the IDE, first I have taken the input of the size of the array and I have taken the input for the elements of the array. Now the thing which I have to do is, here I am putting a print message and I am taking in the input int sum equals sc dot next int. Okay, so here I have taken the value for this sum. The next thing I have to do is, this is the main program over here. Now, for int i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus. This is to traverse through the array and for int j equals i plus 1, j less than n, j plus plus. So for, we have taken two for loops over here, nested for loop i and j. Now inside this, we are going to write one if statement. If arr of i plus arr of j double equals sum, then we need to print. Let's give some gap and arr of i plus some gap. And here let's put a comma and here arr of j okay so first of all we'll run this program and after that i'm going to explain you everything if you could see this here it is asking enter the size of array 5 elements of array uh, let's enter 3 5 4 4 1 okay and enter the value of sum let's say 8 so you could see 5 plus 3 is 8 and 4 plus 4 is 8. So both the values got printed over here. Now I'll make you understand how this particular thing is working. Okay. Array over here. And what are the elements here? We have taken 3, 5, 4, 4 and 1. For int i equals 0, i less than n and i plus plus. So the, that particular for loop which is running for i that is starting from this particular element and it is going till this particular element and the for loop which is running for j for int j equals i plus 1 j less than n and j plus plus that is starting from here because i plus 1 right uh, this is this index is 0 1 2 3 4 so if i value is 0 j value will be 1 because it is i plus 1 right so it is starting from here and it is going till the final element now what is happening is if array of i plus array of j equals sum so it is going to check it is going to check like is 5 plus 3 equals the given sum value here we have given the sum value as 8 so is this thing 8 if it matches then what it is going to do is it is going to print 5 and 3 then it is going to check for other two elements is 4 plus 4 equals 8 if the condition is true it's not if the condition is true it is true so what it is going to do it is going to print 4 and 4 and it is going to check for 4 and 1 is 4 plus 1 equals 8 
it's not equal to 8 so it's not gonna print so finally it is going to print 5 comma 3 and 4 comma 4 we can see that now we're gonna discuss the second approach now here i have the array i'll take the array 5 3 5 4 4 and 1 now in this approach we are gonna have two pointers now pointers are not the pointers in c plus plus i refer to pointers here as a particular variable which is pointing to a particular element so that is what i mean by pointer in this scenario so don't get mistaken now here the low pointer is going to point the starting index and the high pointer is going to point the ending index now we have three cases over here the first case is if low plus high if that equals sum then we are gonna print low comma high the second case is if low plus high is greater than sum then we decrease the high element by one and the third case is if low plus high is less than sum then we increment the low so this is the approach which we are going to follow over here let's look at this approach on our id the first thing which we'll do is we'll create a method public static void let's name it as pair inside which which we're gonna take an array and the value of sum that's it okay so here we need to initialize two variables int low equals 0 and high equals arr dot length minus 1 now we need to write the three if conditions over here if arr low plus arr of high double equals the sum then we need to print out arr of low plus some comma plus arr of high else sorry it's not else we need to put another statement if arr of low plus arr of high is greater than sum then we need to reduce the high by one and else we need to reduce the low by i mean we need to increase the low by one okay so these are the three conditions which i spoke about and i forgot to uh, tell one thing which was the array has to be sorted then only this particular thing this particular approach is going to work or else it is not going to work okay so i have taken in the array over here directly so we need not take any input so i have taken it directly over here and i have sorted this particular array now let's call this call this particular method so here pair arr comma and the value of sum is 8 as usual okay now let's try to run this particular program run you could see 3 comma 5 and 4 comma 4 got printed i hope this video gave a very clear idea about how to solve this particular question thank you so much for watching this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next one